Dear Eve, hello everyone. You might remember that back in May, we asked members of the public to submit their common lizard sightings to the live Eco Museum website as part of the Evera Lizards Citizen Science Project. We want to learn more about Ireland's only native lizard, and the best way to do that was to ask you. Here on Evera, we are lucky to have some of the most spectacular landscapes in the world. We love to spend time outdoors on the wonderful network of walking trails that crisscross the region. And we also have beaches, boglands, old stone walls, wild spaces in our gardens, just some of the habitats that our lizards love. At the start of the project, we created some educational tools for you to learn more about our lizards and where you might find them. Whether it was at home or at school, we really hope you enjoyed them and learned lots about these amazing little animals that call Evera home. In May, we put the call out for you to submit your lizard sightings, and boy did you guys deliver. As soon as we launched, we began receiving sightings immediately, and as the lizard activity increased, the records just kept coming. To date, there are 17 common lizard records from Evera on the National Biodiversity Data Centre, ranging from 1964 up to 2020. With the joint efforts of our Eco Museum knowledge gatherers and your sighting submissions, the Evera Lizards Project has already recorded over 100 lizard sightings in just four months. From the information you provided, we are learning about some of the most frequent habitats our common lizards are being found, and some are a bit more surprising than others. By collecting this data, we can learn about what habitats and environments our lizards live in, and figure out if they are widespread on the peninsula or prefer to stick to certain areas. The communities of Evera are already doing a great job of protecting our wild places, and the more we learn about our native flora and fauna, the better prepared we will be to continue protecting these places for generations to come. We hope you will continue to report your lizard sightings to us. And if you have one that you forgot about, then don't worry, you can still submit it. Our lizards will spend much of winter in hibernation, tucked up in the cracks of an old stone wall or hidden underground. But on warmer winter days, they may peep out for a few minutes. You might be lucky enough to see one, so keep your eyes peeled. We will have more information and updates on the project for you in the future, so you can visit our website www.ecomuseumlive.eu or follow our social media channels to find out more. We'd just like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to everybody who has participated in the Evera Lizards project so far. It's clear that there's a really big connection between the communities of Evera and the nature that surrounds us. Without your help, we simply wouldn't know as much as we do now about our little lizard neighbours. We're just going to leave you now with a montage of some of the wonderful images that you've shared with us as part of this project. So thank you again. Gurv Mila Mahaga. Sláinte.